All right, listen here. But yeah, they uh, gutted Berserker a little bit. Um, so it's at 1800 HP, basically. I think they over nerfed. I think they over nerfed Berserker a little bit. Bruh. Okay, um, great time to talk about this since I'm stuck in this fight for some reason. Um, Arcane Lineage is like more bugged than it was before they said they were going to fix it. This patch kind of just like bugged Metrum's Vessel, bugged this fight. Um, as you can see, all these fights keep freezing up. Uh, I think I did two Metrums in a row where I lost uh, two Void Keys. And it's just because he froze. So we had to end fight, right? Do it like a ticket in the Discord, but we didn't get the Void Key back. So here I am. I'm going to go over what I think is going to be the new Berserker build. What the fuck just happened? What I think the new Berserker build is going to be is I think you're going to want to go Inferno with Core Ally Mana Blade. And uh, obviously this gear, this armor, we already talked about that. It's the same. I'm going the Blessed Ring of Power. I'm just testing it out versus the um, Precision Ring because your crit chance is 40, which isn't too terrible. But like, let's say you don't crit, then two of your jewelry is worthless. So with this Ring of Power, and I'm going the Middle Tree and the Mastery, which I'll talk about that later, I get 450% damage, which I think is pretty good. So what I think you're going to want to do now is for your artifact, you could go Shifting Hourglass for like a fight like Thorian because he doesn't hit you the first turn, really. Um, you go Reality Watch if you have Metrom's Grasp and you want to like cast Metrom's, but Reality Watch before that, then you'll go back to your full energy. Uh, you could buff up as well. And then... Um, Chaos Orb is maybe okay if you're going Cursed, but I just don't think Cursed does as much damage anymore since they nerfed Berserker damage overall. You're going to want the extra damage. In my opinion, I want to do one shot. I don't want to do like damage over time. And I don't have Petent, so I don't have Connie, so doing uh, Curses is useless for me. If I had Petent, then maybe go the Curse build. All right, this is how to get to the Berserker Trainer as fast as possible for all you noobs out there that don't know where it is. Uh, you take an Aberrant here, you run this way. Still haven't killed this guy, by the way. Alright, then you're gonna go in here. Now it's a bit dark. They have a little bug you could do where you could take away the darkness once it gets harder. But honestly, once you do it a few times, you don't even need that bug. Um, basically, you run this way. I always go to the right. Then on this. Then here, here. Jump to the right. Jump dash left. You don't have to dash, but that's style points. Um, then you go all the way down the hallway. You take a left. You go all the way down the hallway. You take a left. And then this is where the parkour begins. You're going to do two jumps, one right here, one right here. Then you're going to drop down onto this small ledge like this. Go this way. And then you're going to just like walk jump onto this one and then onto this one and then onto this one. And then you're going to go all the way to the back and sprint, jump, roll off. Works every time. Okay, I sadly don't have enough mastery points to finish out this tree, but... um. This is what I'm going to be going because this one gives you just more damage with Rage and Power. This one gives you more damage when you're low. Those are still good. Um, and then this one, increased Bloodlust damage per stack. I thought Bloodlust damage was damage when you kill an enemy. But it seems that Bloodlust damage is just damage when you're low. So additionally, deal 40% more damage while low. And I assume when it says 20 per stack... You get stacks at like 50 and 25% HP. So if you get below 25% HP, now you're at, instead of 20 and 40, you're at 25 and 50. So that's 5 to 10% more damage increase. And um, might as well do that. 10% damage increase overall on a big ability versus like 
20% damage on a strike. I mean, strikes are consistent, but let me tell you, you're going to have Dark Slash up, Gilded Slash up, Dangerous Mixture. You're not going to be striking a ton. So I think overall the low health buff is better. Plus, once you max um, Way of the Blades and you have Estella, right? Pretty sure you get saved at 1 HP like twice in a row. <sighs> the Carnage Tree, I know people were going to one-shot Metrom's Vessel, but I don't think it's worth anymore because they nerfed Carnage a bit. So it's mm -hmm. like, why would you put all your points in one basket, you know? Same with the Head Splitter Tree. I don't think the Head Splitter is worth it because it just makes adjacent enemies take more damage, which, I mean, when do you really care about doing adjacent damage when you're Head Splittering? It's like, it doesn't really make sense, you know? So anyways... Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get this last mastery point and then I'll show you the damage. Okay guys, I just um, decided I'm gonna say fuck it and go do Yarthal. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't have my full mastery tree yet just cause I was like, oh, doing Yarthal will be easier. And also I think that I can, um, I think I might be able to do a lot of damage without needing the full mastery tree. Just know that when I get the full mastery tree, it will be even better. So, let's see. I mean, these crabs are pretty easy. Oh, I can't carnage off the bat. That sucks. I guess I'll just strike one. <laughs> now, I'll take some damage here. I mean, I guess I have to take damage anyways. Um... Carnage still does good damage for clearing mobs, but you can't just one turn mobs anymore, which uh, makes farming significantly slower, honestly. All right, this is the most cringe fight for Berserker because they put on lava armor and you just can't really Carnage. It's a bit annoying, but I mean, what are you going to do about it? Play the game, I guess. Um, well, it looks like I got two energy, so I'll just Gilded Strike the Crab and it should kill. And then it'll kill them too with Metrom. So, I mean, if you have Voltaics, Radiant, and you get lucky, then boom, there you go. Also, I was trying out seven Voltaics. It's not that impressive. So I would just do two Voltaics. Um, let's just get fucked up real quick. Um, I think that's fine. All right, so let's see. Let's see how much damage we can do. Um, I might try to fully buff up with like immolation in the sorts, but uh, who knows? Maybe maybe I'll just... Um... Here, we'll try the first one not fully buffing up. So we'll just meditate to get max energy. And then once we're max energy, we'll just rage and power. I definitely missed that on purpose so I could get the low health buff. Um, and now we're at five energy. Uh, we can rage and power and then just pray we get two energy from the Voltaics next turn. If not, we'll wait one more turn. Uh, it's fine. Now they said they took the energy. I don't know if they just nerfed the energy or what. I don't know what they did exactly. The energy's still there. All right, maybe we'll strike him because we just need one energy. Uh, the strike didn't hit him. Um, that didn't hit me. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll Carnage. All right, 1,200 HP. Let's see. Very cool, very cool. Um... I mean, I did a thousand damage. So let's say I had 10% more damage. Maybe it would have one shot him. I don't know if I crit there. I mean, but we could just kill this strike and it should be over. I mean, it's not bad. It's not as insane as it is. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it was a good little nerf. I did try it on Metrom's vessel and it doesn't seem that insane or anything. I also tried on Thorian. Maybe I just didn't buff up enough. 
let's try this next fight actually fully buffing up and see where we can get with that. All right, so we're going to go in with low HP because we're Berserker. We don't give a fuck. No, it was actually kind of cool. One of the admins, I put in like a ticket because my MV got bugged and he's like, yo, is are you the <laughs> are you the strongest arcane lineage player? I was like, bro, I was like, what are you talking about? And then I was like, oh shit, you saw my YouTube video. So uh, that's pretty cool. I guess me making that video along with the Berserker hype was a uh, pretty good play on my part, I must say. Oh, it's corrupted. Okay, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's test it out. Uh, and my soul tree is quite higher than last time. I've been grinding soul tree, so I have most of the damage nodes. Uh, I don't have the full luck sundry tree yet, so that would give me a little bit more crit chance. Maybe it'll boost me up to 40. But, um... <laughs> okay. Um, all right, guys, I think we just say fuck it, right? We just, we just full send it. I mean. That's fucked. You miss me? Um, what is going on? What is going on? Why is that on my head? Can I go, maybe? All right, look at my inventory. <laughs> I mean, look at the stuff. My, I mean, I'm not dying, I guess. Um, what? Okay. Um... I'm lost. What do I do? What happened there? Okay, new mechanic, I guess. Let me just rage and power and then bulk up. Cuz I want to take as little damage as possible. Um So I mean, he can't hurt me. It looks like. So, we'll bulk up. I mean, good good tests, right? Good tests. We could do all the buffs, right? Give me back below half, please. All right, cool. I'm back below half. All right, Enduring Fighter. Let's Carnage right now with all these buffs on. So is that 1,800 HP, basically? I think they over-nerfed... I think they over-nerfed Berserker a little bit. Um, I think they were a bit too harsh, right, with the nerfs to Berserker. Anyways, um, yeah. Goodbye.